on Instagram. Come on, Facebook. All right, live on Facebook too, I believe. Hello, welcome. Get everything situated. Adjust my screen a little. As people join, hopefully people will get notified. Hello, welcome. Hi, hi, hi. Happy Wednesday. It is halfway through the week, huh? Finally. Feels like the first two days just dragged on. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Let me know that you're here. Say hi. Let me know where you're joining from or what you're working on. I got a little bit of the crochet. Still working on my Coles River kerchief. I, I leave it over here. At my, I have, are you guys like this? I have a project like everywhere. <laughs> I have this on my desk. Um, I have a project over on the couch. I have a project in the car. Yeah, so this is my desk project. So when I'm killing time or waiting on something, I've been working on this. So get a few rows in maybe before we get started as everyone joins. Hello. Miss Crystal 28 says, I am making a dude blanket. Awesome. I'm still working on one. It's going to take a while. It's very big. Hi, Samantha. Hi, Sh Chandra. Did I say that right? Chandra? Chandra, that sounds right. Uh, hi, Crystal. Let's see. Who else do we hear? Hello, Julie. Julie Shockley? I think that's who that is. Jewel Shockley. Yeah, sounds like it. Julie or Julia, maybe. On Instagram, I only see Instagram handles. Like, it doesn't tell me names, exact names. So, I'm kind of guessing and I might get it wrong. So, I apologize in advance. <laughs> What's everyone up to? Um, I'm super excited for today's live because um, yesterday was Two Brothers Blankets' sixth birthday. Um, <laughs> and I totally forgot. Um, I knew that it was the 15th, but it just didn't cross my mind. Julianne. Oh, that's a pretty name. Julianne. And I know that because we're friends. Um, I just completely, completely slipped my mind. Um, Julianne has tested for me before. Um, so, um, it is, it was Two Brothers Blankets' sixth birthday. So I started Two Brothers Blankets six years ago. Isn't that nuts? Um, my son is, my youngest is seven. That's even more nuts. <laughs> um, so when I started Two Brothers Blankets, I was just doing like custom orders. I had started an Etsy shop and was just like making hats and scarves and stuff like that, selling it. I was originally Two Brothers Blankets, was going to do like all blankets, but that got old quick. <laughs> um, so I was going to do like baby blankets and stuff, but then I got into designing. So I've been designing for five years since Two Brothers Blankets 6. I started designing a year after I had opened my Etsy shop. And then I, um, I did both. Um, and um, like I took orders and designed and that quickly got old. <laughs> So in 2000, I don't even remember when it was, um, well, four years ago, let's just do that. Let's just say that four years ago, I started designing. I stopped doing the custom orders and went into designing full time. So that's exciting, huh? So what I've got planned, I asked my, uh, in my stories on Instagram, sorry, I bump in the desk, um, if I should do like a celebration sale or whatever. So I don't have all the details figured out yet, but I plan to um, have a little sale and giveaway this weekend, probably Saturday and Sunday. And I'm thinking what I'll do is 
I'll give my email subscribers the code early. So they would get to shop on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So they'd have three days. Um, so yeah, if you're an email subscriber, you will probably get the code early. I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do. Um, just because they're my they're my VIPs and so you can also you can always sign up to subscribe to my emails. I don't send out a lot. I actually should probably send out more. <laughs> um, any good like entrepreneur will tell you to to regularly send out emails, but I I'm not super frequent with my emails. So um, but I try to treat my email subscribers like my VAPs because they opt in to join my email list. So you can do that, uh, let's see. I put the link on Facebook, just right in the description. And then Instagram, I um, you can go to the link in my bio and it'll be one of the options to subscribe via email. But either way, I think I'm gonna do Saturday and Sunday for everybody. Um, I'll probably do some sort of giveaway. What should I give away? Like a gift card or? patterns or what do y'all want what do you, tell me what to give away and I'll do a giveaway <laughs> of some sort um just to celebrate just because it's fun and wow we've made it six years like that's insane I'm over here frogging because I keep doing the wrong stitch um let's see who's here Sean Chandra I keep I keep questioning myself says yes perfect for the first time Crystal says, I also have whips all over. Yeah, see, I do. They, you gotta have one for everywhere because you might need to crochet. So I have I have my new Ferguson lap blanket uh, um, design, but project in my car because that goes with me to soccer on Saturdays for the boys. And then I have... Um, this here, this is the culture of a kerchief, and then I have, when I design, I usually do it on my couch. <laughs> so I do that in front of, um, in front of the TV. <laughs> or I listen to something on the radio or a podcast or something. So I do that on my couch because it's more comfortable. And I have my notebook and everything right there. I can put my, um, drink or snack or whatever right next to me, so... Yeah, gotta have a project for everywhere. Let's see, Lee Catherine Eight says patterns are always nice for giveaways. That's what I was thinking, like five pattern, free patterns or something of choice or maybe, I don't know. I'll figure it out before the weekend, but I'm definitely, I'm thinking what I'll probably be, I'll probably do since it's six years is do 60% off. So that's like a super deal. Um, you don't wanna, miss that so I'll definitely um, be posting about it very soon or by the weekend so let's see Trista says I currently have two within two feet <laughs> awesome um, let's see the cheerful chameleon says that could be fun yeah that's what I'm thinking something I'll do a giveaway and a sale yeah I think I, I got to figure that out. Maybe I'll do the giveaway first and then the sale because if you don't win the giveaway, then you might want to buy some patterns. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, but that is coming. So we're just going to do a little celebration to celebrate six years. So birthday. Um, let's see. Rosetta says, hello, Michelle. Just finished watching Tony. Love your patterns. Love sales. Awesome. Yay. Cecilia says, hi, Michelle. I have been thinking about starting this. Not sure if I would be good at it. Oh, you can do it. We're going to, we're going to learn how to read patterns today, Cecilia. So this is the very beginning. This is the base, very basic. Well, besides learning how to crochet, if you know, if you know the basics and learn how to crochet, then the next step is pattern reading. So we're gonna talk about that today. So you'll have this for reference. Um, okay, so second thing of business. Hey guys, let's see, who do I see? 60% is awesome, says Crystal. Yeah, I was thinking. I mean, it just, it's good because it's six years, 60%, nice and catchy. So that's a really good deal though. Um, Courtney says, I have three whips currently. I have too many to count. And then, so yeah, last week if you joined me, I talked about 
um, how I kind of got ambitious with my new projects in January. Um, so I have like three or four just like going. And then I started socks yesterday out of the blue. But that's cool because I've never made socks before. But then I also was, if you follow me on Instagram, this weekend I was tidying up. Um, the all I watched the Marie Kondo show on Netflix last week. I like binged that sucker like two days. Watched every episode. <laughs> it was bad. But I um, was like really inspired to tidy up. And mostly like I don't consider us like junky or like have a lot like some of those houses had a lot of stuff and I don't think um that it was like I don't consider us like to be to be too junky but um I definitely wanted to get rid of like clothes we have so many the boys have too many clothes they don't even wear half of them or they pull them out too much or you know like multiple try to put on different shirts a day and it's just crazy so I was like we're getting rid of the clothes we're tidying up so I went through the boys drawers and their closets and then I went through my closet well while I was in my closet I found um I found a tub you know like the big tubs plastic tubs that you put like store things in of whips like just whips ah I was like, where did these come? I guess I put them away thinking that I would um, get back to them eventually or something. <sighs> so a whole tub, a whole tub of, or like whatever they're called, tub, right? I don't know, but of, of whips. So I'm gonna have to do the uh, motivation course that Tony of TL Yoncrest is doing with Happily Hook Magazine that starts tomorrow. I just realized it starts tomorrow, but I think I might have to, to I don't know if you can still sign up. I'm going to see if you can still sign up because I really need to figure out what I need to keep and what I need to frog because <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> I have way too many whips and now that I've realized it. Um, sorry guys, I'm getting a message. Let me close it. Uh, so, um... What was I talking about? Okay, we did, we talked about the birthday celebration. Oh, let's talk about my new design back there. Can you, oh, Instagram can't see her. Let's see. There we go. There she is, Instagram. Sorry, Instagram's on my phone. Facebook is on my webcam. So my webcam is like super wide and easy to see. So this is my new sweater design. I have not revealed the name yet. I'm pretty sure I know what the name will be. I had my um, members of my crochet community group, Facebook group here on Facebook, give me their name suggestions. And if I was going to choose one, um, and if I chose your suggestion, you win the pattern for free. So I haven't revealed the name yet. I'm going to reveal it tomorrow um, in the group and everywhere I guess um, but um, this is my newest design it's coming out on Friday um, I posted today I posted on Instagram um, ways to ways ways to wear it Wednesday that's it um, instead of whip Wednesday I decided I'm gonna try this new series since I do mostly garments and I crochet I design mostly garments um, I'm gonna, every Wednesday I'm gonna show a way to share, um, uh, or a way to style, not share, style one of my garment designs. So this week I showed how I styled that one, that one. Um, I, that one is slightly cropped. Um, well, it's pretty cropped. It's not like way up, way up, but it goes to, um, right at my waist and um, I wore it with high-waisted jeans and boots and brown boots. So those are what, that's what I'm wearing in my pictures and, um, I'm really excited about it. It's, it's super cute. It's super easy and it's super versatile. Like you don't like it that style. That's okay. You can make it a totally different style. You can, you don't have to put on or make the, add the turtleneck, you don't have to, or you can make it long. You don't have to wear it cropped. Um, it's top down. It's raglan. It's no sew. I mean, it's like the perfect, 
versatile beginner sweater. I would consider this a really good beginner sweater. It's one stitch. Well, it's two stitches. The body and the sleeves are one stitch and the trim is another stitch. Um, it's very simple, very easy. Um, yeah, so I would definitely consider trying this if you've never tried garments. Um, or if you want something versatile, you might want to make one with the turtleneck and one without. Um, it would just have a simple neckline right here. I mean, it's like the basic of basic sweaters, and everybody needs a basic sweater, right? <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to the release of that. Be on the lookout for that Friday. Maybe I'll give a couple of those pattern, that pattern away as part of the giveaway. I think I might do something with that. Hmm... I'm thinking out loud, but yeah, maybe I'll do, since that's releasing on Friday, maybe I'll do a giveaway for that couple and let five or six people, wait, six people, because the six years win it or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But it's definitely, um, it's definitely a good one, an easy one. Um, Marion says, I love raglan. Awesome. Let's see. Jewel Shockley says, I frogged about 10 to 15 whips at the start of the year. See, I'm going to have to do that because I had that whole box of whips. Oh, golly. I'm going to have to do it. So anyways, okay. Um, now let's chat about how to read a crochet pattern. Um, I told you guys last week we're going to be diving into, I'm going to be really focused on garments, designing garments, and helping others crochet their own garments. Um, I want my designs to be easy and simple and easy to follow for people who are just getting started out. I want to have content on my website, here in the lives, YouTube, wherever, that will um, answer questions for people, help people uh, learn and feel confident in making crocheted garments. So first off, we gotta start at like the basics, right? Um, so we are gonna learn, I'm just gonna quickly go over how to um, read a crochet pattern. Now I am, so I'm on my webcam on Facebook and I'm on my phone on Instagram, so I can't like do an overhead. I'm just gonna have to hold it up for you guys and point to it, but um, I am, almost done with the blog post for this and I will that will be a little more step-by-step -step. Um, pictures probably um, and then more like descriptive and then I'm also gonna save this video upload it to YouTube and then post it on the blog so don't worry there will be plenty of ways for you to get to it and um, yeah so uh, I'm gonna use my dude card again as a and a good an example as my example um, Just because it has a lot of good information in this one uh, And I'm just gonna use now disclaimer this is um, I'm gonna go in the order and the way and the style that I do not all designers do this And if I think of something that I've seen with other designer pattern um other designers patterns I'll mention it but like this is the general idea too like they might not be in the same order but you're gonna ooh, you're gonna most likely find that um, information somewhere on the pattern any pattern you do if it's a good pattern <laughs> if it's well written I guess I could say um, so you've never read a crochet hi mom my mom's on Instagram this is for you, Mom. She, she was asking me about reading patterns. She needed help reading patterns. So this is where I got the idea to start right at the basics because she's been crocheting for a little bit now. And so I wanted to help her with that. Figured let's do it to help everyone, have this content to help everyone. So um, when you're reading a pattern, you're going to look at your first page first. That's why it's on the first page. Um, my crochet patterns have the title and my logo. And then see these little words here, you probably can't, I mean, you can't read them here from the screen. But it says my, the designs are by me, Michelle Ferguson. It has my Ravelry link website. And then it has my email, twobrothersblankets at gmail.com. Um, this is up here for your reference. Um, you can uh, email me. You can go back to my 
Ravelry shop to shop some more or whatever, um, and you know it's by me. So you could also search for me on Ravelry or whatnot. So then I have a picture of the design on the sidebar, and this is my own template. My husband actually made this template for me. Um, we just made it from scratch. I didn't get it from it. I know some people offer their pattern templates or have made pattern templates. I'm not, I don't know. Uh, I think maybe Etsy or their own website, like a printable PDF or something. But we just, I just, my husband made it, and this is what I've used ever since. So, pictures on this side. Um, on this side, you're going to get your materials. You're going to get your difficulty, your gauge, your sizing and yardage, and your pattern notes. Um, materials are going to tell you exactly what you need for your pattern. Um... So this one says 14 to 21, 30 yards. That was not the right way to say that. 2,130 yards, 1,400 to 2,130 yards, worsted weight, weight yarn, um, a five millimeter or H crochet hook or hook to obtain gauge, scissors, measuring tape, tapestry needle, stitch marker, and four two inch buttons. So that's gonna, that's where you look to find out what you need for your pattern for your project so always check the materials list also I'm gonna go ahead and say this now I guess I should have probably said it at the very beginning my biggest advice when reading a crochet pattern whether you know how to do it or not um, always read through the pattern skim it check it out get to know it um, before you start I just find that that is much easier and if you run into anything or whatnot, you're going to know what you need. You're going to read the notes. You're going to know what, you're, what to expect. So definitely read through it at the beginning. Um, then you're going to go into your difficulty. You're going to get to your difficulty next on my patterns. Um, that is like beginner, easy, intermediate, and such on, you know, advanced. I don't have any patterns in the advanced category, I don't believe. Um, I name all of my... Clothing patterns is intermediate. Most of them are not going to give you a lot of problems if you're like a beginner. Um, but I do that because there is usually some sort of shaping or maybe a little bit of sewing or increases or decreases or whatnot. So I consider it, I just call it intermediate. So you need to know the basics of um, crochet to be able to make that. So this is intermediate. Then you're going to get your gauge. Um... 16 stitches within the stitch combo by 11 rows equals 4 inches. That's going to give you what gauge you need. That's very important, especially when doing clothing. So make sure you see that and figure that one out. Or, you know, be prepared to make a gauge swatch. Then you're going to have your sizing and yardage, which is next on my list. Um, or on my side front page. Um, so this one is, it tells me the size, small. And then it says 36 inch chest, so that's where you measure around. So for women, it's usually bust or hips um, on my patterns, so that's where to measure. Um, and so the small, it has a 36 inch chest, and it uses around 1,400 yards. I say around approximately because um, I, this is approximate. So if you're going to make any adjustments whatsoever, you're going to need more or less, um, you want to have around that. So I usually round up, if I'm using a pattern um, and it has a certain amount of yardage, I usually round up to the nearest like ball of yarn. Um, you know what I mean? So if it's going to take five and a half balls of yarns, I just have six on hand or seven just to be safe. So I usually go up and I try to approximate up um, when I'm giving you my yardage I get my yardage from my I get information from my testers and math and gauge and there's a million different ways um but um that's an approximate don't take it like for yard <laughs> it can very easily change different using different yarns you could be off a little bit I've had testers doing the same size and be 200 yards different from each other so um yeah that's approximate plan accordingly, I guess. Um, 
Let's see, I see some comments. That's probably really good advice. I've always read the before stuff and then dive into the pattern. I started the bad habit and I believe it will be a hard habit to break. I hear ya, I t tend to do the same thing. Um, but it just, it's nice to, especially, I would say especially though, so you're doing right, I would say especially the first page um, and the pattern notes, those are big. So that's what's next on our, on my pattern. Um, you're gonna get your pattern notes. So this one says, if in between sizes go up a size, the best way to get an accurate fit is to try on as you go so you can adjust if need be. Um, starting chain does not count as first stitch unless stated otherwise within the pattern. So now that's here. Um, that's going to give you stuff like starting, does the starting chain count? Um, how to adjust if there needs to be adjustments or if it's really stretchy or something. You know, like any notes that the designer feels that you need to know when making your project are going to be in your pattern notes. And then we come to the other side and it's the stitches needed and abbreviations. So I put what the abbreviation is, this is what it's going to be within the pattern as you read the pattern. So I put the stitch, the abbreviation, and then I put what it means. So this says ST and that means stitch or stitches. So um, I do that for all of my patterns. I don't tell you how to do it, but I have something for you guys. So I am working on a blog post um, as well as this little cheat sheet, I guess you could call it, um, that I've made that I'm going to give away as like a freebie. So I'm going to send it tomorrow, I think, um, to my email subscribers. So if you're not signed up as an email subscriber, you're going to want to do so by t before tomorrow. The link is in my description on Facebook and it's in my bio on Instagram. So let me show it to you so you can see what it is. So I made this little, it's, I'm actually going to add a little bit to it, but this was my rough draft, let's say. I made this little cheat sheet for um, beginners or beginning pattern, pattern readers, or even if you're not a beginner, I feel like this could be super useful. Um, what it is, it's called the Crochet Stitch Abbreviations Cheat Sheet. So, my patterns will tell you what the abbreviation is and what it means, but they're not going to tell you how to do it. This little cheat sheet is going to tell you how to do the basics, most commonly used, yeah, most commonly used stitches or abbreviations in a pattern, a basic pattern or any pattern really. So I have, so stitch is stitches, um, there's no real definition for that. But let's go down here. Oh, and the, so then I have next is chain. So I have the abbreviation chain, and then what it means, chain, the word chain, or CH is the abbreviation, chain is what it means, and then it, I have how you do it. So yarn over, pull through loop, continue until desired number of chains. So it tells you how to do it. So if you're a beginner and you're like just learning crochet or you have trouble remembering what the abbreviations mean or how to do it or whatnot, this is going to be super helpful. And I try and I made it like half, um, half a page so that you could do like I did and like um, tape it to the inside of your notebook or binder if you have a binder for like your crochet patterns that you print out or whatnot. This can be taped right onto the inside. Or I'm gonna, it's going to be a PDF also, so you could just download it on your phone or device or tablet or whatnot. So like I have, so far I have single crochet, half double, chain single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, how to do it. So it's, they all have how to do it, yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, all that. Uh, single crochet two together, half double crochet two together, and double crochet two together. So that's like just a little cheat sheet that you can um, have. I'm also going to add, I think I'm going to add um, right side, wrong side, um, and maybe, what do you guys think, front post and back post? How to do those, just for reference. Um, but yeah, this is going to be sent to my, this is just a freebie just because um, I find it will be helpful, um, especially if you're new to reading patterns, and you can get that in my, um, if you're on my email list, so, and I'm, I'll probably 
send it out a couple times this year, like just re-advertise it or whatnot so that new subscribers can get it as well or whatnot. But definitely sign up to be in my email so you can get that. Um, especially if you have trouble with like remembering the abbreviations and what they mean and how to do them. What I do in my pattern. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Laura says, this is random, but I just noticed your yarny sweatshirt. Yeah, can you see it? This is, I got this from the Yarn Mamas um, on Instagram. It has a llama and a hook, crochet hook, and a ball of yarn and a cup of coffee. I wear it all the time. It's so comfy. Super comfy. It's been washed a bunch of times, um, and it's... It's great. I love it. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, now we are done with the first page. That is, like, the important page because you want to know um, all the details. What you need, what the gauge is, all that. So, this pattern has pattern notes continued. So, um, I, had, I needed more room for all the notes that I needed on this one. So, I put it on the second page. So it says patterns work from the bottom up with panels split to create armholes. Um, it's written in size small with additional sizes in parentheses. I do that with almost all of my patterns. Um, and then the final stitch count for all sizes will be in parentheses at the end of each row or round. Um, let's see. It says it is essential that you take measurements or try on as you go for this pattern. If you take measurements of the person you are making it for, measure from hip to armpit, armpit to top of shoulders, length and width of arms. So yeah, this one was, I remember this one being a doozy with as far as sizing went. Um, so it says if you're trying on as you go, make sure to stop at each section to, section to try on. Body types are so different that this part is very important or you won't get correct fit. So that was just something that we found to be an issue during testing. So I just made a note of that in the pattern to make sure you try on. Um, okay, so now we're going to go into the pattern, the actual pattern. Um, mine, I don't really have like a beginning and finishing. Um, like some say beginning, some, you know, like stuff like that. But mine just goes top to bottom and most will some are in panels so they'll go look you know top to bottom left to right um, but my patterns are not they're all one column and so I do like the order you see it is the order that it will be made in worked up in so mine starts so this one starts with the bottom panel so it has the beginning chain chain 149 and then your additional sizes are in parentheses. So chain 149 is the smallest. So what is that? Size small. So what you may want to do is um, mark it or whatnot if you're doing like a medium. The medium would be the second, the first one in the parentheses. So size small is outside the parentheses and then medium is in the parentheses and so on. Um, Mine go, this goes through row by row. Your patterns are either going to be listed by, you know, for most designs, um, row, round, or just step, like step one, step two, step three. So that's how most patterns are going to be, be written. So mine has row one, and it says in the parentheses right next to row one, RS. So RS, if you look back in your abbreviations, means right side. So row one is an odd number, so your odd numbered rows are going to be your right side. Easy, right? Um, so make sure to note that. And then it just goes on row one, row two. It has the entire stitch count of each size in parentheses at the end of each row. So, um, you start off with 149, you chain 149, and then you're going to have to crochet in the second chain from hook and each stitch across. So, you're going to end up with 148 half double crochet. That's all it says. So, like I said, you go from bottom, you know, bottom, top to bottom. Um, that's the order of the way you should work it up for my pattern. So, we're going to do the bottom panel first, and then we go to the right panel, and the middle panel, and the left panel. Um... And then this one has a picture in it. Some will have pictures, some will not. That just depends on the pattern and the designer and all that. Um, and then, so we're moving on to the cardigan trim. 
and the sleeves. It says, and sometimes I put, I try to put everything at the beginning and where it needs to be if there's like specific notes for a specific um, part of the pattern. But, so we're at sleeves. Sleeves is our last time, our last uh, section. It says work in each armhole because you're going to have two armholes. And it says join yarn to the back of armhole with RS facing, with right side facing. Um, and then, then these are worked in the rounds. Uh, so it says round one, round two, so, or whatnot. So, um, but it still just labels it each one step by step what you need. So then you get to the end of your pattern. The Some patterns will say finishing as like a section. Um, others will not. My, this does not, but at the end of all, all of mine, just about, it says fasten off. This one says attach but buttons to opposite side of trim as the buttonholes and weave in all ends. So that's going to be your indication that you are done as well as being at the end of the pattern. Um, but... Um, fasten off, weave in all ends, block, some of them will say block, stuff like that is going to indicate that you're finished. Um, so yeah, that's that's the basics. Um, like I said, the, the front page is the most important, it's where you're going to get all your information. Um, and I have that cheat sheet that I'm going to send out. Once I get the blog, I think I'll publish the blog post, I'll be able to publish the blog post tomorrow. And I'll send it out as soon as I publish the blog post. So I can link to the blog post, link to the video, and um, attach the free PDF stitch abbreviations cheat sheet. Um, does anybody have any questions? It's really quite simple. Um, most people can figure it out. Um, but like I said, here up here is my email on every single one of my patterns. And that's what it's for. It's for you to contact me um, if you need me, if you need pattern support, if you're struggling with a part of my pattern. Um, also, if you find a mistake, I want to know. Let me know because I am not perfect. There could be very easily be a mistake in there. If you see one, you know it's a mistake. Um, let me know so I can change it and fix it and update the pattern so that everyone else will have the correct uh, pattern. So, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. I mean, it's very, pretty basic, um, but I know it can be, like, scary and daunting. Um, I remember when I was first learning, um, pattern reading was just like, what is this language? <laughs> I don't know. I don't speak this. <laughs> um, so, I, I know a lot of people do, like, what is it called? Short row? They write it in... I don't remember the name, but it's it's even more abbreviated than mine are. Um, I definitely probably am a little long-winded, but I want to be thorough. So I don't know. I just I just I abbreviate the only the bare necessity stuff, and then I just write out everything else. Um, also, if you are you run into a abbreviation you don't know or a stitch you don't know, I highly, highly, highly recommend craftyarncouncil.com. They have just about everything you're ever going to need to read a pattern, write a pattern, design, you know, make something, whatever. They have so many resources. Um, craftyarncouncil.com. They have a full um, abbreviation stitch abbreviation list and I wrote that on the bottom of this um, after I printed it uh, I, I linked to their website because they're gonna have your full um, list of abbreviations that pretty much you will always find um, or you will ever need um, they have sizing charts they have sizing charts for head they have sizing charts for babies they have sizing charts for children women and men so that's where I get all my sizing information when I am designing, um, I find the women's to be like spot on um, with like my measurements, and my testers measurements, and all that. It's pretty much exact. Um, I find, and but I find the kids' sizes are a little wonky. Um, sometimes it works out okay. Sometimes it doesn't. Like my son. Both my kids. I have skinny little beanpole kids. and <laughs> They're so tiny. Um, but they're tall. Both of them are tall. So, like, 
Um, I'm working. I just finished up a sweater for my seven-year-old. He's a he. His chest measures 23 inches around, and I think that's like a size four, <laughs> according to Craft Yarn Council, their size chart, their children's size chart. So he's like a size four in circumference, but a size eight in length. Like it's nuts. <laughs> so, um, like I always say, try on as you go, go by measurement rather than, um, rather than size. Like say, um, you know, like your kid wears a size eight all the time, measure them first. Cause you might be, it might turn out huge if they're skinny around like mine are. So, CraftYarnCouncil.com, amazing resource. I mean, it is an amazing resource for crocheters, designers, everybody. So definitely check them out. Um, and I will get that stuff sent out. I'll get the blog post posted. I don't see any questions. Do you guys have any questions? Hey, guys, a few people joining late. If you joined late and you missed it, missed all the info, just rewatch it on the replay. I'm going to post it on both sites um, as soon as I get done. I'll make sure it posts. Um, and I'll save it so it'll be here forever. Um, so yeah, it won't be, it won't be on Instagram forever because it, it, Instagram goes away after 24 hours, but it'll be on the interwebs. It'll be on probably YouTube and then I'll put it on my, uh, website as well. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. I hope it made sense. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, I'll get pictures. I'm going to take some pictures of like each section as I'm writing the blog post. So I'm almost done with the blog post. It's a little bit more in detail because I can like reference better. Um, but yeah, I hope that was helpful. I'm happy to see each and every one of you guys here. Sometimes I'm like, one o'clock. Is that going to be hard for people to get on? But it's it's the best time that works for me. So luckily you can re watch replays. So Debbie says, love your room. Thank you. It's actually, it's like a room, but it's like a nook sort of off of our kitchen den, I, like kitchen and den, like they're both over there. So, um, it's like this just nook in our house and it works out perfect as an office. So, uh, thank you. Um, next week I will be back one o'clock Eastern standard time. Um, I'll, uh, I don't know what we're going to talk about yet. I think, I think, I, I think I know, but I don't want to say yet because I'm not positive. So, but it'll be, it'll have to do with, right now we're just going to do like basics of crocheting garments. And, um, so it'll probably have something to do with that or like my designs or something, a topic that can be helpful to you for sure. Like, um, content that you can refer back to or whatnot. So I think I have an idea of what it'll be, but stay tuned. Check my, um, either be in my, in my Facebook group. That's where I post a lot. And then I post a lot on Instagram and Instagram stories. Um, that's where you'll find me the most, most likely in, in one of those three places. And then if you want to get information and not miss something like the sale that I'm going to do this weekend to celebrate six years, um, Two Brothers Blankets being around for six years, uh, definitely join my email list. That is where you will get some all the information that's you know important. You don't want to miss sales, giveaways, new releases. Um, that's where you're, it's going to get sent straight to your e inbox, your email, and you're not going to miss it because social media wouldn't show it to you, or the algorithm didn't think you needed to see it, or whatever. <laughs> um, so definitely sign up for that. Link is in the description on Facebook, and it's in my bio on Instagram. All right, I'm going to head off. I'm going to start a new design right now. So I did all my all my computer work and editing and all that fun stuff, not so fun stuff, um, earlier this morning so that I could go start a new design this afternoon after today's live. So you guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you here next week. Bye.